one of the most popular features and interesting elements along the coast are tide pools. Most people come and search for agates or sea stars or whatever they think they might find. But I've seen a lot of fascinating things in tide pools over the years. Mussels are the dark clam-like critters that are attached to the rocks. They're related to a clam, they're a crustacean, and they're edible. But these ones attach to rocks and they never move. They live their entire life here. Sea stars cannot live quite as high on the rocks as mussels do, because sea stars need more seawater on them than mussels do. One fascinating thing about the sea stars is two or three years ago, they started all dying. There is a disease called sea star wasting disease. If I were doing this video two years ago, we wouldn't have any sea stars in it. They have come back and they appear to be coming back quite strong. Sea anemones are the green colored mouth-like looking critters in this tide pool. They feed on fish and other food stuff that happens into their mouth and they will close over it and consume it. As I touch this, the sea anemone closes around my finger. My skin is too thick for the poison to disable my finger. But if it was a fish or other small critter that got in there, it would close around it, capture it, and then consume it. Here's another interesting tide pool. There are crab in here. You can see some of them moving around. These are not Dungeness crab. These are other small rock crab that inhabit these tide pools. And they tend to scatter when, when humans come near them. So if you're looking at tide pools and see little dark shapes in them as you approach the tide pool, move slowly. 